Wetland water cycles. Wetland is very much influenced by the balance between evaporation and precipitation. And evaporation, of course, is the movement of water out of the wetland up into the atmosphere. And precipitation comes in the form of rain or snow. So that's the input. The other output is transpiration which is the ability of plants through their foliage to release water to the atmosphere. The plants take up water from the soil with their root systems and then move it up into the atmosphere. And water can come in not only as surface flow, but as groundwater moving laterally or moving vertically. When groundwater moves vertically in an upward direction, it's called groundwater discharge. When it moves down in a vertical direction into the sediments, it's called groundwater recharge or infiltration, depending on the situation. Eventually, it will hit a impervious layer and the movement will be slowed. So all of this if there's a stream coming out of the wetland, all of this will determine whether water flows into the stream and when it flows into the stream. Evaporation, precipitation are very much controlled by climate. There may be storage of water in the form of ice during the winter time, so air temperatures during the spring will affect the rate at which the ice melts and the rate at which, once it's melted, it is lost through evaporation and evapotranspiration. So there are several water sources and outflows from a wetland, which ultimately affect the water levels and the water outflows from the wetland into streams and into groundwater systems.